The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman baseball coach Tom Griffin, I'm Michael Watchering for the Eagles Sports Network as the Eagles fall 11-2 to to Catawba and Coach. A really good offensive team, one of the best in the nation. Uh, for a little bit there, uh, you guys were right in it. What do you think was the turning point in the game? In ter- obviously the runs, but yeah. what was the turning point? Well, you know, Everly is a is a, got a pitch backwards, change-up curveball guy. Um, left the breaking ball up. And, um, you know, crooked numbers early was okay, kept us in it. Um, But then as he kept us in it, we weren't able to manufacture anything. So as the game was going on, it's kind of like a lightning's about to strike. If if you're not careful, you got to try to stay in the ball game offensively and create some runs. We weren't able to do that. And then, um, you know, the home run on the breaking ball, that was up. And then, um, you know, he... He gave us all he had, Everly. We're, we're proud of his effort. And Greg came in and obviously uh, just didn't have his stuff today either as far as uh, command goes. And so, uh, you know, next thing you know, there's a seven spot. And then they can hit you quick. You, you got to pitch extremely well. You got to locate exceptionally well. You got to be at your best against an offense like that. It's very experienced and it's very good. As good of an offense as they are, they lead the country in home runs. They had one extra base hit all day today. Is yeah. there something that you can take away from that aspect of it? I can take away that they're really good hitters, mm-hmm. and when you try to keep them off balance, they keep their barrels in the zone long enough that they're either able to you know, get it down into the ground for a hole, or as you saw, cap a couple balls, but find the four and six hole. Mm-hmm. It just says that they keep their barrels in the zone very well and they're very disciplined about it. So if I learned anything, it's that they're really good hitters um, and and we've got to do a better job of locating and pitching, especially in the future because um, those guys are all back. So we've had a good shot at looking at how we got to pitch them. Now we got to find the guys that can do that against them, you know? Absolutely. (laughs) Uh, Tomorrow, uh, today was a quick turnaround. You finished at about 10:45 last night. You got to play here, here at noon. Tomorrow, you get a full. You pretty much get a full day off uh, until you head into tomorrow. Uh, what's the mindset heading into tomorrow? Where now it truly is that single elimination portion. Yeah, it wasn't fair for us to come back that quick, yeah. was it, Michael? But no. that's not. That's we. That was fine. I had nothing to do with it. You know, we just got we got uh, beat today, and the guys are going to rest today, mm-hmm. and that game's over. That's completely forgotten. Uh, no question about it. I think the only ones that will think about it will be, you know, a couple guys, you know, thinking about what they can do differently. But as coaches, we're moving on to the next game. We play the loser of this game. And um, so we get a chance to see who we're going to compete against. We've played all these teams before. So, you know, you just got to be the best team that day and, and that game, not the best team in this tournament. So our guys will do a good job. They'll be ready to play and compete. Listen, they competed all nine innings. They're not laying over there. They're uh, staying energized. I, it was great seeing Robert Plour, a senior, go out with those three strikeouts right there. He was very effective. So and we're going to keep competing and fighting. That's what we want to preach to him because in life we're going to have to keep doing that. So uh, we'll be fine tomorrow. We're, we're blessed with the weather. You guys are doing a fantastic job in this coverage. It's first class all the way, and it's a great experience for our young men. Absolutely. Thanks for the time, Coach. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. He's Carson Newman, baseball coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watching for the Eagle Sports Network.